In a previous request video, we looked at how to make the player crouch smoothly, and although it works well, you may find that it isn't quite complete uh, in a few ways. First of all, let's just look at them. So the very first play, and we crouch, we can't go under, but you can see the camera, the, the camera is clearly not actually, the camera is actually no longer inside it, it seems to be outside it, which is why the camera is going into it. Another thing, is we can try uncrouching while underneath something which makes it impossible to move and get stuck once you can uncrouch again. But the problem remains. Another thing is we can jump while crouched and we stay crouched while that's happening, which is a problem. Um, so yeah, there are a few problems with it. So let's just uh, look at how we can fix those problems. First thing we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to uh, make sure, uh, we're going to say that if you're um. We're just going to make it so that um, if you press sprint and is crouched is false, then it does that. If it's true though, then we just want to, uh, uh, we just want to uh, reverse the animation of crouching uh, so that if we start sprinting, then we will stop. We will stop crouching and start sprinting. Um, but if we are, if we're not crouched, we will start sprinting or stop sprinting. If we are crouched and we press sprint, then we will stop sprint, uh, stop crouching and sprinting. Now, the next thing we have to do, which is the most important thing, is we have to actually make it so that you can't stand up if you're underneath something. So to do that, we're just going to move all of this stuff out way over here and also we're just going to at this uh, in begin play we're going to set camera start height and we're going to get the camera all the way down here get the camera and we are going to uh, get relative location you're going to split the struct pin yeah, I'm going to plug the Z, which is the height, into start cam height. So now we'll know what the camera's height starts off with when we start. And over here at the end, we are just going to... Uh, we're just going to... Uh, tell it to lerp between two heights for the camera height. So we're going to again use the POW as the alpha. Uh, now we want to be... When we're crouched, we want to... Uh, have our crouched height, so but we're gonna we're gonna just put camera start height as zero. So when we're standing, obviously this is what we'll be. And we'll just move this over. Um, but then we also need a height for the camera to be at when we're crouching. We don't want to add another variable because that will just complicate things. We're just gonna do a bit of basic maths. So instead, we are going to get uh, we're gonna get the these things over here. So stand half height. Uh, Character movement, uh, character movement craft, crouched half height, and uh, we are just going to divide this. We're going to divide the crouched half height by the standing half height. So this will give us a number from zero to one, telling us uh, what the percentage is that the crouched half height is of stand half height. And then we are going to multiply this by the camera the standing camera height and then we're going to plug that in and then we're just going to set the camera's relative location so we're just going to set relative location we're going to split the struct pin and just put Z in and now if we compile and save then you see the camera it now scales down as well, so we can actually, we actually, but it looks right, we're not, our head isn't going through the top. However, we still can stand up into it, which is correct, obviously. So now we're going to implement that, which is the most important part and the uh, most complex part. So to check if we have anything above us, uh, we need to use something called a line trace. Just type in line trace and we're going to go for objects. And our line trace for objects will shoot up a line in a direction 
uh, and tell us for, for from from a position to another position, telling, of, telling us if it hits anything. So for object types, we're going to make an array, and we've already got world static, and we're just going to add world dynamic, and we're not going to add add any of the other ones because they don't affect us at the moment. Uh, we're not going to debug it. We're not going to have any actors in the We're going to allow it to ignore self though. Now start. We want to be. This is this is a bit of maths uh, here as well. So we need to first of all get actor location. So this is also the location of us. Um, but we are. Well, we're gonna we're gonna plug this in as the start. And then we're gonna do some more maths to find out where we end. Uh, so first of all, we need to get actor. This just gives us a a uh, normalized vector telling us where this this actor's up is. So um, it will it'll either be it'll be from zero to one in each vector in x, y, and z, telling us which direction is up. Although in this case, it will always be z one, but this just allows you to have a little bit more flex, a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so we have the actor up vector. Now we are going to multiply. So this will allow us to. Uh, tell it how high we want it to shoot up and I'm just going to move this stuff over a bit more like this uh, we're going to tell it to shoot 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 up a little bit um, but we're also at the end we're going to just add a vector and vector and we need to add this we need to add the player position to this up vector times a distance uh, so that we because otherwise it will just be at, at it will start at zero zero and zero 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 and it will go up uh, to a certain extent. So we just want to put that in end. And now the height. This is where the maths comes in. Uh, we are going to go back down here, and we are going to get stand half height and crouched half height. Uh, and then we are going to come back over here. Going to copy and paste them here. And so first of all, we're just going to get our crouched half height, and we're going to minus that uh, from our current actor location, and get a minus, move this over. We're going to minus this from our character location, just going to move it down here so we have some more room. Uh, so now this gives us, uh, oops, uh, we have to break vector. We're going to get Z, and we minus our crouched half height, so this will give us the point at the bottom of us right now. And uh, then we are going to, so right now this is this is where our where the player's feet are. You can think of it like that. And uh, then we are just going to uh, add to that uh, two times standing half height. So we're going to go add. And we're going to get this, and we're going to times it by. Two and plug that in there and just gonna drag this out so it looks a bit nicer. And then we're just gonna put that into the multiplier. Uh, so if I move this up so you can see it a bit better and move this down. So we're starting at uh, at the player location. We are getting the up vector, so we're getting the direction of up of, of up, which is zero zero one, uh, which will make it uh, zero on the x, zero on the y, and one on the z, which is up for us. Uh, uh, but then we are timesing that by our player's foot location, which is our current location uh, z minus our crouched half height, uh, and then uh, adding to that two times our standing half height, so that will give us our full uh, uh, full standing height. And then we are timesing that by our actor up vector. Then we are adding to that our location, and so this will give us the end location uh, for where the top of our head will be when we're standing up. Uh, so now we just want to check if we actually hit anything. So we're going to use a branch off the return value that will tell us if we actually hit anything. And we want to say that if we didn't hit anything, then we want to uh, continue. 
And now there's one more thing we want to do before we uh, play this. And right now we can jump uh, while crouched. So to get rid of that, what we need to do is we need to use something called a sequence. Sequence. And uh, but we don't we don't want to do this first. What we want to do is we want to do our whole uncrouching procedure first. And then we want to check if we are actually still crouched. So this will try um, try and get us to uncrouch. And if we are still crouched, then then we won't be able to jump. But if we are crouched, uh, aren't crouched, then we will be able to jump. So we want to check if it is crouched, and if we're not crouching, then we want to jump. So now we can just com uh, compile and save this. And if we play it, I can go into here, I can press control, I can't stand up though, I can come back out, I can stand up, I can jump, I can sprint, I can turn off sprinting, uh, I can crouch over here, now if I jump, I will stand up, and I'll jump, and if I land, you'll see that I'm standing up now. See? Uh, if I'm crouched and I start sprinting, uh, well, if I'm crouched and I start sprinting, then it won't actually let me, because what we're doing right now uh, is we're checking if we're crouched, and if we are crouched, then we reverse this and we go through the whole procedure. Uh, but the thing is, uh, that when we actually uh, tell us to unsprint uh, or start sprinting, if we 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 tell it to stop sprinting, to stop crouching, uh, is that well? First of all, we're not actually checking all of this. So what we do is we do the exact same thing that we do here. So we just copy this over here, Control W. We use the sequence again. We plug this into there, and if we are crouching, uh, if if we aren't crouching, then we will start sprinting. Now we compile and save, and if we play, everything still works fine. I can start sprinting. If I'm not crouched. Uh, if I crouch and then start sprinting, see, I start sprinting. I stand up and I start sprinting, and uh, I can crouch down again. If I jump, I'll stand up. And uh, I, everything works well, and I can get crouched down, I can go into things, stand up again. Uh, and because we're just using reverse, we're not using reverse from start or anything, or from end, uh, you can press it really fast and it doesn't glitch out because it's only going back from where it is currently. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about UE4, then please join me next time.